MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news via video media. Steve, your most recent purchase here at Batchflow is this new WT100. It's not your first Nakamura though, is it? No, it's not. Um, a few years back, we uh, invested in a WT150, one of the earlier models, um, and that proves to be a very good machine for us. Uh, we like its accuracy, uh, its speed, its capability. So, so why the WT100 then? What's the difference between this model and the 150? Uh, fundamentally, this the 100 is a smaller machine. It's inch and three quarter maximum bar capacity, um, and I suppose often people try to get the maximum capacity machine they can when they're make, making investment. But for us, this seemed like a good option for us because we're quite restrained in floor space at the moment. We, you know, we, we've got very limited floor space to fit fit larger machine, and the current 150 is a larger, significantly larger machine than this. Um, and the 100's got a very neat footprint and it's class. There's not many machines that can offer this kind of capability on such a small footprint. And talking about capability, this is a twin turret, twin spindle machine with how, how many Y axis? It's got one Y axis on the top turret. Um, it's got 12 stations or including the half station indexing. In theory, you could have 48. Uh, so, so on each turret, you can index 24 points, giving you 48 tool stations. That's correct, yeah, yeah. And, and do you ever get the benefit of utilising all those stations, or is it just nice to have? Uh, I guess to, to date, we've never, we've never struggled. We've never run out of tooling positions uh, you know, on our job to date, but it's nice to know it's there. Um, but for the majority of our work, we're, we're working well within it, but it's, it, it gives you that extra options. And, and let's talk about that, because the type of work that you'll be doing, I mean, this, this is a... This is a bar-fed machine, so you are, you are running production? Yes, we are, yeah. And, and for how long? How many hours a day would you, this machine be in action? Um, well, the Nakamura's and these machines of this type, this is, we, we, intend, we run this day and night. We run a standard day shift, eight and a half hours, nine hours in the day, and then it runs 12 hours through, throughout the night as well. So. And obviously with the nature of the Nakamura machine, it is a premium quality machine tool. Yeah. That's one of the reasons that you bought it. Is yeah. it making premium quality product for you Steve? Yes it is yeah I mean it's um, having the experience with our previous Nakamura was you know gave us the confidence that we knew what you know the quality of Nakamura machines. Um, and the balance turning do you get to balance turn is that is that one of the key drivers here that you can machine on the front of the uh, the, the main spindle with one turret and the back spindle with the other turret to, yeah. to essentially half your cycle time? Exactly yeah that's the fundamental thing and we found with the 150 we could do other jobs on other machines using single turret machines and chucking and second ops, but you just can't get that down to that cycle time. Um, and that's the fundamental feature. The fact that you can independently work on either turret, on either spindle, both turrets on one, both turrets on another, you know, it gives you ultimate flexibility. So two words spring, spring to my mind, speed and precision. Definitely, yeah. So on this control as well, because this is a fairly new control to Nakamura, yeah. Yeah. you've got experience of the previous control. What, what, what do you like about this, this new yeah, I mean, I suppose initially it was a little bit of a concern in as much as this was so, it looked so different on the face of it to the our older, uh, earlier 150. Um, and I suppose initially some of the setters look at it and might be a bit bamboozled by all the flashing lights and the big screen. Um, fundamentally, the, the programming is the same format, but once you get used to it and you understand, you've basically got a Windows front end um, and I think they've really come to like there's some really nice features on it that you know the set well, give us an idea of what those features are well for example all of the um, all of your manuals for the machine um, alarm codes uh, parts lists everything is all on the computer you don't have to go looking for a manual and flicking through a, a catalog to find an alarm number or something if it comes up with an alarm it shows you a photograph and maybe an area on the machine that you should be looking at say it might be a, a lube alarm or something and it gives you an indication of where the air, where the fault could could arise rather than giving you a, a random alarm number that you've got to look up and you know, it doesn't make a lot of sense so it's fair to say this this has come a long way this control with the hardware of the machine yeah i'd say so yeah it's... And, and buying a machine like this isn't just about the machine is it it's about the, the support and it's about potentially the solution because did we, did you buy this as a turnkey from the engineering technology group or no we didn't um, but because because of the gap in the difference and the slight evolution of the machine between the 150 and the 100 um, we had some sort of concerns and we wanted you know the ETG put our mind at rest that you know the machine you know when the guys would get you know get on with it quite nicely and you know we found the support from ETG to be very good I suppose one advantage they're down the road from us we're a very local 
I, I actually uh, had the pleasure of seeing you at their their permanent trade show last June. Pretty impre impressive place. Yes, definitely. Yeah, they seem to have really come along, and you know, with the expansion there, and they've got the the new facilities in Wellsbourne. I mean, it, people say you know we're quite fortunate where we are in you know here in the Midlands in Warwickshire. We've got you know some major people on our doorstep, but it's it's nice to know that the skilled people and parts and things are only a, a short drive away if we need them. So, and that could also be said for your Hardinge because it's not just this machine that you've got from the engineering technology group. Also, your Hardinge machines are now supported by them as well. That's right. Yeah, and I suppose that's um, an added peace of mind. Um, we, we're traditionally a hard, you know, we have been a Hardinge user in in the past, and we still run. Um, Hardinge GTs and Hardinge Elite lathes for the smaller, smaller prototype batch work and the less higher volume the work that goes. You know. So, so coming back to this machine, if I had to put you on the spot a bit and get you to summarise what this has done potentially for your business or or how you feel about this purchase, what would you say, Steve? Um, well, fundamentally, it's given us, it's taken up, up a, another step forward, another step increase on our ability and our capacity to compete with the you know the high volume high precision work that these machines can do you know we, we've had the capability on the 150 but this is taking it on another step um, and it's also um, we've learned to you know the controls to a certain extent more so that if we make further investments in the future the control system we're, we're already okay with it you know? so batch flow going places with Nakamura definitely yeah